Hey everybody, it's John Birmingham, writer and director of Troma's cult classic movie. Released in 2007, it's a beautiful, brilliant film called Crazy Animal, starring me. Hey, it's John Birmingham. Two days ago, I did 483 push-ups. It was actually a little more, but the ones that got filmed were 483. So I was trying to do 2,000. It just felt inappropriate to keep pursuing an earthly goal that was kind of shallow when God had more important things for me to do. I'm gonna see how many push-ups I can do if I can do 2,000 or more. The soundtrack for this video. Hi. Hey, Anthony. Hi. This is gonna be the soundtrack for this video. I'll show you. It's YouTube audio library. <laughs> Caveman of the future. Caveman of the future. <laughs> I guess we'll hear that. That'll be the fourth song. So I have to do this. Okay. Here goes. I'm going to start the push-ups. I'm going to start the push-ups. Yo, glad you're feeling better, John. Hey, I watch you more than anyone on YouTube. Wow, that's nice. It's an addiction. Today, oh, today is the day we pray to Jesus Christ, amen. Today is when we pray to Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah, that was nice. I feel blessed, he said. The Garden of Eden. <laughs> I'm watching you. He got tired because I didn't say anything back. Why don't you do more Ronald McDonald videos, he said. <laughs> Kitty Lee said, cute LOL. That's 40. That's 40. First workout I've done in days. Yeah, this music does sound really cool. Anthony Squatch Adventures again said, uh, just fly over them and tell them what's up. Yo, he loves Jane's addiction, drum solo. What's his name? Quitando <laughs> Mejando. I don't want to say it. It's up to 72, 72 versions in hell. No. <laughs> It's up to 72. <laughs> no, God and Jesus believe in monogamy. One man and one woman together forever. We're on earth. We sin a little bit while we're on earth. It may not be that way, for, you know. But in heaven, in heaven it's supposed to be one man and one woman forever. That's how heaven is. Muslim people have a little bit the wrong idea of virgins, many virgins, and that's not true. Who knows, maybe they can get into heaven too. It's up to a hundred. It's up to a hundred. That was 28 more. That was 28 more. It's up to a hundred.
that's 17 more. I've done 117. So far I've done 117 push-ups. That was 17 more. I've done 117 push-ups. did 23 more. I was up to 137. That's 160. I'm up to 160. One seventy seven. One seventy seven. Whoa, I'm careful with that. I'm up to one seventy seven. Two hundred. So just leave these here in case I come down and do more.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna 2100 push ups up, that I've already started. Start, start, start. So, so, I've already done 207. And, and, and I'm filming it live so you know this is live. live. This is on June 6th. June 6th, 5, 5, 43 p.m. It's kind of a workout so far. It's a workout that's pretty good. Let's do some more. more. some more. Just 
story, you know. <laughs> going down hell to not be going to do it. Here, there we make a little scene. I'm going to kind of act like a famous person a little bit and I'm going to try to look at him as a false god. A false god. No, no. So that's so bad. And the Bible tells all about it. The Bible tells all about it. And God gets all the glory, not some man. But guess what? God lets us feel okay on earth too sometimes. I did 400 push up so far. 400 push up so far. See if it made me look any better. 400 push up so far today. It's pretty good so far. not the best role model ever to be on your way to the lake of fire. I don't know about Bobcat Goldthwaite. He may be a good role model, a good person. He may be on his way to heaven. I hope to God he is. I liked him growing up in his movies, but I don't know. I can't judge him. But the lake of fire is real and it's pretty scary. Not with me. Not with me. I'm determined to live. 
it's, it's been getting better and better. As I repented for many years and didn't sin as much as I used to, and I don't sin as yet. What I've repented of is somehow it gets better and better. I found it gets better and even when it feels the worst, it's, it's gotten better and better. So it's okay. Feels pretty good here. Feels good today. Feels pretty good today. I'm just, just playing. Oh, well, sitting back, thinking, should I do it? No, it's just to do. Of course, I can do tons of push ups. That's not the thing. It's not what's most important. That's why I'm not doing it. But maybe I'll get to do them again. I'd like to, but I don't know if it's right. I don't want to be the shittiest jerk. My kids are in Texas, but that's wrong. Became a gay inside. Maybe I can be with Danica. Hey, what a nice guy. He watches my videos about it. Hey, what a nice guy. He watches my videos about it. Anthony. <laughs> may not even be his real name. I may, I may be pronouncing it wrong. But but he's nice. But but he's nice. He's kind. Why is it a black screen? Nintendo. Great chief. 
chief Native Americans, Native Americans, honor the chief, honor the chief. The Native Americans from the tribe today, today, honor the chief. Chief, 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 Get away from chief. Get away from chief. Get away from chief. White backside. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You go. You go. You go. Cover yourself. Cover yourself. No. Put a diaper on that little child. Put a diaper on that little child. Quick. Quick. Before he goes poopy on himself. Before he goes poopy on himself. Get the little boy. Get the little boy. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. The little Indian boy. The little Indian boy. He took a poopy on himself. He took a poopy on himself. No. <laughs> He was white. He was white. He was a man. He was a man. Trying to act like a little boy. To act like a little boy. You think he was good? You think he was good? You think he was good? Would his backside look like a this? His backside look like a this? His backside look like a this? With dark hairs on it? With dark hairs on it? Trying to pretend that he was good what he was going to do? Like a this? Like a this? <laughs> he has gone. He has gone. He has left the tribe forever. He, left the tribe forever. he disgraced his family. He disgraced his with family. his backside. With his backside. Now he go to live with them again. He go to live with them again. And next time, he next used time, toilet paper properly. Toilet paper properly. And clean himself and stuff act like a little boy. Your like hair lack like a little boy. When he eat chow mein the wrong way today. The wrong way today. He had lo mein chow mein put in his mouth and took a shit on himself. Do that you know you good? Get your junk and get out here. Get your junk and get out here. Wow! No, I'm stronger than Arnold. Because I'm Asian. Because I'm Asian. And his backside. And his backside. Is gone. Is gone. Why did he mention it? Why did he mention it? Try to ruin the entire thing. Ruin the entire thing. Get him out here. He's no longer in the tribes. He is not in the tribes anymore. Where John Birmingham? Where John Birmingham? I'm I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I saw what he did. I saw what he did. 
he he pulled his pants down he pulled his pants down and was naked and was naked in front of the chief in front of the chief and and he was a grown man he was a grown man and he disgraced everyone he disgraced everyone and the only person who got angry out was the Asian the Asian person because he doesn't like to be disgraced so he put his clothes on or diaper on or something and, then, and, and, and he left with his family so he's gone he covered up his backside it's okay again Now we all know the great chief. Now we all know the great chief. Indian chief this time. Indian chief this time. Indian chief this time. The Native American. The Native American. Who calls himself Indian. Who calls himself Indian. Because Indian's okay too. Because Indian's okay too. Indian. 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 India. India. No. No. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. I. I. Ha ha. Chief thought that was funny. The chief thought that was funny. Let the man show his backside. He wasn't it. Show his backside. He wasn't. He wasn't angry. He wasn't angry. But I'm the Asian. But I'm the Asian. Who got so angry because I ate lo mein. And then I do steroids really strong. And then I do steroids really strong. Cause I'm Asian who do steroids. Cause I'm Asian who do steroids. At least I look good. At least I look good. At least I look good. And I'm a good person too. And I'm a good person too. And I eat tofu, man, 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 man. Tofu, man, 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 man. Tofu, man, 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 man. That's why I'm big, strong, and buff. Strong, man. Strong and buff. See, see, see these titties flex. See these titties flex. See these titties flex, man. Cause I eat tofu. Cause I eat tofu. See these titties flex, man. See these titties flex. See these titties flex. That dude's a joke, man. He ain't strong enough.
I guess you didn't know. I guess you didn't know. I guess you didn't know, man. 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 Want me to yell in your face, man, M A N? I ain't saying something different now. I won't get in trouble for saying man. I won't get in trouble for saying man. Because I don't even know what that means. Because I don't even know what that means. Anxiety, man. I don't even know what that means. Anxiety, man. I don't know what that means. Anxiety, man. strong man i think that dude was strong he was strong call us 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 no god no it's kind and good it's kind of trying to get gay. I can't tell no me on there, he said. Oh, no. Praise Jesus. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. That's kind what he said. <clears throat> that's really good. He watches me more than other people. <clears throat> That's really nice. That's nice. I don't know if it really cares or not sometimes. <laughs> He's nice. He's good. Okay. I just started doing that. Maybe I can see how many push ups. See how many push ups I did. Push ups I did. Am I even allowed to do them? I'd like to. Is it wrong to pursue that as a goal right now? <laughs> I've done 400 push ups. I did more than that. Oh, the guy commented on Jane's Addiction. Check this out. <clears throat> Here's a picture of Jane's Addiction. This made me feel good. <laughs> it was one of my favorite bands growing up. For a while, for when I was one of my favorite, it was one of my favorite bands growing up. Jane's Addiction.
God, they had some really good live records from the 80s that were just, their music live was really good. <clears throat> Not just their one that they released that album, but like their bootleg live records that hardly anyone knew about were really good. They played their good song, not the, not, not, uh, been caught stealing, not, uh, well, Jane Says was okay. Some of their, um, like nothing shocking, uh, I really liked their music. And I saw, I saw this guy, um, I saw him play it, the first Lollapalooza. I saw Jane's Addiction play it, the first Lollapalooza when I was like 12. <sighs> I talked to Dave Navarro on his radio station. I called in and he talked to me on MySpace and watched my short film Rebel Fish one time, I think. But, um, he, I've never really talked to him in real life. I like called in his radio show and talked to him. And, um, my sister saw all of them are, are just Perry Farrell at the airport in the 80s or something, or like the late 80s and 89 or 92, something like 92 when she was a teenager. She saw Perry Farrell at the airport. And I saw this guy's band play, Stephen Perkins in Los Angeles. I was like a young man, younger man, young man. I saw his band play. And it was some other band he had without Perry Farrell. And it was at the House of Blues. <sighs> Stephen Perkins. He was one of my favorite drummers growing up. Him, Chad Smith, uh, the guy from Primus. Some other famous bands. I don't know. And then I stopped. I don't know. I think they're like back in style again. I really hope Dave Navarro's okay. He's been having a difficult time since last year. I saw in the news. He'll probably get back to like really good health and be really good, really in amazing shape again. I think, I hope. <clears throat> Dave Navarro. When I was younger, my eyebrows looked a little bit bigger, but I don't know if they, like, I don't know whose eyebrows are bigger, his or mine. I had black hair and pretty big eyebrows, but my eyebrows were smooth and young looking. They're young looking. When I look back at the way the hair grew, it was young and it wasn't, it wasn't that, it was like smooth looking and shiny. It looked pretty good, even though they were kind of big. Um, but it looked more like Dave Navarro's eyebrows. <sighs> Started hanging out with Al, and it was like eh, appropriate to just let him go and try to be like Al's eyebrows or something. It felt awful to suddenly have to do that in some ways, but not that bad. It was like a kind thing to do to let my body go and be more of a good person and a kind person rather than the things that. I felt better about on earth and it kind of sucked to feel that way, but it was good. And it, I just, it, it didn't fit. I don't like it that much. So I've been having to work really hard at losing the weight again so I can feel better about my looks. <clears throat> and did something where my eyebrows again so they look kind of like good again, but not as good as I would have been able to do had I been smart enough when I was a kid to do something to my eyebrows to make them look because they, they're much, I, the hair was younger <laughs> in my eyebrows. But it looked kind of like Dave Navarro's or something. Mm -hmm. He had very black hair. You know, how he's kind of like Italian looking. 
but he has a very, I don't know why it doesn't look that good in this shot, like his nose, but um, in real life, he had small little nostrils and like a, one of the really good looking person's nose or something. I think he just got that from his mom. I think it's real. It's not like a plastic surgery or something. Has <laughs> exerted <laughs> <laughs> disasters. <laughs> Dead Kennedys. Plastic <laughs> <laughs> surgery disasters. Dead Kennedys. <laughs> and this guy they kicked out of the band, Eric Avery. And then they got him back in the band, thank God. Well, I hope to God that's good. That was good. That was something good. And um, I used to think Perry Farrell was cool. He was in really amazing shape. He really amazing. He was in really amazing shape. A little skinnier, but he did something from muscle and it was like tall. I think he's tall. I don't know, because I think this guy, Dave Navarre, is a little shorter. Um, he may not be tall, but I don't know. But um, <laughs> we're old. They were so cool. And this was really weird. I don't know why he did this, but in like '87 or something, I used to watch the older stuff when in in the early '90s. Like I, I like the stuff from '87 and stuff. And he had these long blue dreads, and he was in really good shape. And had like square, kind of strong pecs that were strong. And he was like in really good shape and looked really cool. And I wanted to look that way. I wanted to like look kind of cool. And for some reason, he had these like really he had long blue dreadlocks, and no one had it. No one looked that way, but he. He pulled it off looking so cool and I thought it was cool looking and oh um, and, and he's like a rock star or something but I don't know how kind or good he is or what I don't know but he got married more than once and stuff and I, I, I don't know like how much he sins or if he's good or bad but I like Dave Navarro Dave Navarro's had some difficult times and he made he made it through and got better he really did like the Red Hot Chili Peppers sing about but um, they're, they may be false idols. I don't even know who they are. I don't know much about them at all. But maybe it's possible, you know, maybe it's possible to actually make friends with all of them and actually be a musician and, and um, play with some of them and really sing. I like to work more on singing rather than, I don't have the motivation as much to want to play guitar, but I think I can play guitar too or play drums with them. I'm, I'm good at guitar and drums and singing. I can kind of play, well, I know how to play bass, but probably not as good as this guy who plays bass or, or flea or somebody like that, but I'm okay on bass. And um, I'm not really, the, that's not one of my super best instruments where I can play okay. And, and I'm good on guitar. I'm good on drums. I'm good on singing. So, Maybe that's something I can do and still have a chance to like play with these people and make money at it, make a living at it. And I'd like to actually motivate me enough to do something to be happy and feel okay about that I could work really hard at to, um, uh, I don't know, better than wanting to die, having to work at something else if the other thing made me want to die. Films and music never made me want to die. And he always had a really good physique. Well, not as much in Jane's Addiction as a skinny guy who kept his shirt on. But um, after that, he got in really good shape. This is Dave Navarro when he's like 52 or something. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. But I want to work more on my physique. Like, compare that to the low body fat of Damon. Come on. It's it's not enough. You can see right here, this is like atypical. This is typical of a man in his 40s. This fat right here. This fat right here. And that can be changed with hard work. Well, if God allowed me to, if God allows me to, I can work hard at that and make that look really amazing with diet and exercise and fasting and eating right and healthy and eating healthy. Not any fake shortcuts.
I'm playing strong enough that this right here, I can tell that's doesn't have the body fat, the low body fat of somebody like Dave Navarro. So it's, it's almost like you'd have to be a genius, real, I mean, one of the best on earth to pull off looking this way and make it at music. You know, it just doesn't look good enough. It, there's, it's not low enough body fat for that look that people want to look like. That's why that video only got like 140 views or something or 30 views or some shit. You know, it just, it looks a little bit fat right here, that kind of average, like right here under the, under this it just doesn't, it's, it's not the way all these rock stars looked in their prime. And that's reality. And I don't know how you make it unless you're, unless I was into comedy, but it's almost like make up your mind. Where's the thing you're doing, you know, and. I don't know if it's enough to make to pay bills at it when this guy is always, you know, since uh, later he looked this way after Jane's addiction in really good shape. I don't think it's gay, but he 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 may have gay tendencies. This guy in particular, I, you know, I it, I'm different from him because I I don't have any gay tendencies at all. But I'm just talking about the way his 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 physique looks. You know, when he was younger, this is how he look before he got those tattoos it's really cool looking i think his his body's in really good shape i'd like to look that way personally you know it has nothing to do with his sexual interest in, in people and it's pretty amazing that he, he pulled off looking that way in his 50s <clears throat> this is literally when he's like 55 but you know yeah, throw it all away he gives a fuck might as well uh, be an average looking person because god wants other things as more important. There are other things that are more important. So, you know, but that may not be true. That may not be true. I may be able to get a superhuman body because I pulled it off before. And there's still time left. And those are the kinds of things that I worked at and liked and looked up to. And the music, the film, the creative stuff, and these guys who were really cool. Ever since I was a kid, I thought, I want to be that way. You know, not as a false idol, but I want to I want to look that way. I like the way they look. My dad, of course, I honored, and, and, and my mom, and I was like them. But um, those are the kinds of things I like. So... As I get older, I'm going to work at that stuff. You know, I don't want to totally change everything and become somebody who, who doesn't work on my body. I wouldn't want to be like, it'd be difficult to be like a Stephen Hawking type, but I was almost that way as a young man when I was in my bed teaching myself all post-production for nine months one time on my film Rebel Fish. So I kind of know what some of that might have been like, but I had no interest to ever do that again. I never want to do it again just doesn't make me feel happy that much. I don't know how I feel happy doing it after like, I'm not gonna do that shit. That's why, I, you know, it's very unlikely that something like that would happen to me, but it's up to God. So I don't know, but I, I doubt some crazy ass shit. Like, I, I, I doubt it'd be like out of nowhere. Um, the things that I worked so much, so hard at, like with my, just my health alone, doubt all of a sudden that wouldn't be you know but i have gotten in good shape before but i haven't stayed that way and i'd like to stay that way it'd be a miracle if i got to do that i think hey i got up to sixty-six thousand most popular that's pretty cool somebody's been clicking on me or people have been clicking on me and sixty-six thousand most popular 79 66 thousand most popular star in the star meter on IMDb. <laughs> Pretty good from, from Virginia. <sighs> That's not really the movie. I tried to make that a fan film and take that down, but it's on there somehow. Broke back mountain. It's not really one of my movies. My real movies are Rednecks. As an on tour film, filmmaker, and I put myself in the lead and um, the Vampires of Zanzibar, The Crazy Animal, I my mean, three feature films, 
And then I did these short films. And I kind of worked on other people's movies. And the biggest budget movie I ever worked on was Plan 9, but it's not really my movie. Plan 9, the remake of Plan 9 from Outer Space. <coughs> if you've heard of Plan 9 from Outer Space, it's the remake of that. It's done pretty professionally. I think it's a SAG movie. Uh, John Johnson, my friend, directed it. I, I, was, I was a producer on it co-producer but at first i was producer and somehow i just got a co-producer credit instead of producer but he made me producer i had a business card that said producer on it plan nine it's pretty good remake of ed wood's plan nine from outer space but i didn't do much work on the movie and i i, I was an actor in it a little bit this guy's in it james rolfe and some famous people the angry video game nerd has tons of views online. I don't know how much money he has or what. <laughs> he has he he has some money that he made. He's a famous uh, YouTube person. <clears throat> he's twenty nine thousand most popular. He's into movies and stuff. <clears throat> and they got these famous people in it. And the last living actor from the original Plan 9 from Outer Space, I was in a scene acting with him. I played his son in the movie, Conrad Brooks, and then he died after filming the movie a few years later. He's the last living crew or cast, I think cast or both, uh, people who were in the original Plan 9 from Outer Space movie. And I got to act in a scene with him in the movie. I played his son. That's pretty good. Plan nine, the remake of Plan 9 from Outer Space. So that's pretty good. But, you know, it wasn't my movie. It was John Johnson's movie. I was a producer on it, I guess. Or a co-producer. I guess I was one of the producers. Actually, my movie Crazy Animal was more popular than this at one time. This one, the most popular it got was up to 1100. The 1100 most famous movie on IMDb, where it says right, it says right here, it says right there, 1150 most popular movie of its time. But my movie Crazy Animal was like 900 or 800, something like that. But this movie made money, I think, Plan 9. <clears throat> but I was going to show you, I really got, okay, shape, but it was only here and there. I didn't stay that way. And I did movies, and I didn't do music. The thing that I had hoped to do was music, but then I honored my parents and, and did filmmaking instead. I went to school, went to a bunch of schools. It was, uh, it was okay. And I got to be an actor in my own movies and play music like a rock star in my own movies. Oh, good, oh, good God. God, I can actually, well, if it's okay, work out a bunch and keep doing these push ups, see if I can do 2,000 of them. But it might be wrong. Who cares about that compared to, compared to how important getting to be with Danica and the kids would be and to be with Danica and the kids that's really the most important I think that I can make sure they're okay help them learn about God and Jesus help them well help Danica would be amazing for me to actually have a wife at home who I could love and be my equal and always stand up for being the best There's pictures on here I have of myself, but um, that was from Rednecks. Here's Rowan, my son. Here's my son, Ivan. My son, Ivan. It's him when he's 12. They started lifting weights like I do.
but they do other stuff too. He's really good at art. He's brilliant at art, better than most college art students. And he's 12. Here's my headshot or one of my, I could use as a headshot even though I didn't really ever have to audition for anyone and just put myself in my own movies and made friends with people, made friends with other filmmakers and got to be in their movies because I was friends with them. There's me and Al on my IMDb page. Me and Al. I don't know what this is. Uh, me like at one time in really in kind of good shape for back then. Eh. Me and kind of, that's real. That's not, a, there's no Photoshop on that. That's pretty good. I weighed like 170, 178, 175, or 180, something like that. It was pretty good. Mm. Lasted two months. Uh, kind of on and off all year that year. I don't know where it got me. I acted in a bunch of people's movies, and one of them was playing nine. <laughs> one of them was playing nine, so I guess that was kind of cool. My mom took this picture. That's all these zombies. Here's me when I got one of my best physiques ever. Took a bunch of four. Well, actually, you can tell the truth about what I did, but I don't know. It may be a little bit of illegal to do back then, the thing that I did. Not, not any heavy drugs, but. I'm not going to say whether or not it was marijuana, but it may have been. It gave me no appetite, superhuman feeling, really helped my health. It was amazing, whatever it may have been, but I'm not going to say if it was marijuana or not. <laughs> but I don't do it now. I probably wouldn't have the same, I don't know. It, it, it would still lower my appetite, make my body super healthy, but it's just the body. I don't know what it would do for, I don't know. If it, I, don't know. I don't really want to do it that much. So I got in pretty good shape here. This was like kind of something in good shape, but not like God and Jesus. God and Jesus are most important, but for for a physique, this was like okay. This was like kind of good. That was in pretty good shape. I mean, that's actually was looking pretty good. I have a little bit too much body fat right now. I think, but it's okay or whatever. <sighs> Sideways to film it. This is pretty good. We got up to 66,000 most popular star today, right now. But before I got up to the. Who cares? Wasn't number one. But it could be one, number one, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if that's possible or not. I used to think, of course it's possible, it will happen. I kept working out relentlessly, never gave up. And then, I, did, I, I don't know. The IMDB. I don't even know if I care about it that much. Other than being number one or actually really famous and actually having done it rather than done kind of indie films and kind of well i guess i did it compared to most people in some ways but i just i'm not happy that it didn't get to be a real famous person like tom cruise dave navarro all the famous rock stars that i looked up to growing up um every famous person that everyone knows who they are that's not me it's never been me because I wasn't allowed to get there no matter how hard I worked at it yet. By God, I guess so far. But maybe it's possible one day. And I kind of did it. I kind of did it, so I'm not going to worry about it. But that's that's different from actually getting to pay your bills at it. Getting to pay my bills at it would be a miracle. That would be pretty much all I'd want. At least to pay my bills at it. And the other stuff is cool, too. You know, actually getting to be a fan, get to be getting to be famous for my work, my actual work.
that's really good. But um, I'd like to just I'd like to really pay you enough bills at it. You never have to worry about working at something else that it's not been step steady. It's not been easy. It's been turned into a waking nightmare of hell. Literally. So I'd like to finally make plenty of money at it so I know it would be okay. Like right now, I have, I don't know, <clears throat> I wonder if I'm allowed to do the push-ups or not. I'd like to actually work on it too. This is a message to Danica. <coughs> Asked her to finally be a happy, be a family together. Danica, what did your parents say about the email that I sent? I've been waiting all day to hear what they think, and if Rome or Ivan or at least Rome to come over with me are way better than that, you can move here to live with me and the kids. Danica, quick, be with me and move to Salon Beach. It's the best place on earth for us. Really private and beautiful. Um, where I found God in Jesus. It's not a regular house. It, and, and, you know, it's only a thing. It's not like people. God says not to love earthly. Well, on earth for us, really private and beautiful, where I found God and Jesus, it's not a regular house, and you know, it's only a thing, but it would be the best ever, best ever to be together, or wherever God wants us to be. Okay. I gotta 
I gotta hide the email address. Send it. <clears throat> okay. Who knows what's gonna happen? I've done 430 push ups. 430 push ups. Well, I've done a thousand before in four hours and 20 minutes. Let's see how many more I do. I feel, I feel like I didn't look that good because I wasn't doing the push ups and I, it felt wrong. It was like God was saying not to do them. that great. I'm 483. Okay. See you all commented at the end by the end of the video. <clears throat> I make that person laugh. Uh, nope. Good luck looking good. John wants the God, God wants the best for you. God wants the best for you. That's really nice. Hey, and they want to film a movie about me, a documentary. Good. I wrote to him. Okay, bye. He, th he says he doesn't think anyone can do 2,000 push-ups. I can do 2,000. You gave me money? Five pounds? Five European euros or pounds? Five pounds? He said, hey man, I was just watching your good morning video again. Uh, he said, yeah. Remember the song you woke up Owl Bob with that big dance anthem? I don't know what that is. How is it outside today? Beautiful music. Woke up owl with the epic dance anthem. Oh. Some YouTube song. <clears throat> 50 more sets of 40. There you go.
It's dark out. It's dark out. Okay, this is Johnny Depp. Okay, this is John Birmingham. Check out Check more out videos on my channel. channel. This, this is filming the screen of, of my laptop. laptop. And I'm in I'm quick time, time filming, filming myself, myself recording, recording the thing. thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Bye. Bye. Check, Check out more videos on my channel. Praise, praise God, God, praise Jesus. Jesus. Believe in God, God and Jesus, Jesus, and you'll be you'll saved. saved. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye.